Hi family, I'm coming to you to show you how to make this cute little vanity tray. What I found was a 5x7 frame. I picked this up from, if I'm not mistaken, it was Hobby Lobby. We're going to take this little piece off once I'm done. But that's where I picked up the frame and it was half off, so I got it for like $6. Then we have these little caps, which we're going to use as the feet for the tray. And you can pick these up at Walmart or um, even Hobby Lobby or Michaels has these and they're two different sizes. I'm going to use the larger ones. We're going to put them on the bottom and make the feet for our little vanity tray. Now I'm going to use this Ultra Cover paint. It works really quick. It's a gloss white so you don't have to really worry too much about putting a gloss on top of the paint. Then we're going to give it a quick spray of the polyurethane to just a clear gloss to seal it. And then we have this specialty paper that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I didn't really want to get into using too much glitter today so I figured we'll use these sheets instead. We just have a pair of scissors and a marker that we're going to use to mark off and then this is E6000. This is adhesive that we're going to use to attach the feet to the frame. I'm just going to open it up and take out what's on the inside which is just a little bit of paper backing and we're going to use this as a handle for right now that's why I didn't take it off yet. This is just what's inside the frame and we're going to take out this little glass piece as well put all those things to the side and now we're going to just start spraying I did grab a pair of gloves in order to you know keep my hands from getting so messy and as you'll see right there I did spray my arm but I just wiped that off so it was really no big deal and I'm just spraying the frame down all over and I do have to go back and do that little part right on the front where I left it out going along the side painting that as well and you just cover all the front pieces of the frame and along the side so you have one consistent color and then I'm just going to take this outside to dry. You really do need to do this in a very, very well ventilated area. And that's what it looks like before we take it outside to dry it. And that's just a little piece we're going to take off. I let it dry for at least a few hours just to make sure that it was dry and I wouldn't have too many issues with it. So that's pretty much what I did and I just took it outside and I left it outside in the breeze for it to dry. So I just took it outside and let it dry outside and just because it's a very breezy day today and it was easier to just let it dry outside because it was a little stuffy in here with using the paint. Always work in a ventilated area. So now I'm taking the specialty paper that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to just measure it according to this glass cover for the tray. And that's how it'll be. Instead of it being white underneath, we're going to use glittery paper. So I just used the glass cover piece as a guide in order to cut it so that it would match perfectly and I wouldn't have any issues with having to measure otherwise. I just took my marker and I went around the glass piece. And that was pretty easy. So now I'm just going to take the glass piece away. We're just going to cut that little area out that I traced. And this is going to be the base for our tray. And you can interchange this if you decorate and you want to change. You can always open it up and put a different color paper under there, different type of paper. This was just a lot easier than using my glitter that you guys know I love. There we have the piece. There's the glass cover and that's what you're going to use to rest your makeup on or your bottles. These are just some extra pieces that I found at Hobby Lobby which I'll be using them for something else for another project coming up. And I just figured you could see them and then that little piece was the part where you rest your frame. I just popped that right off. It came off. 
I then put in the glass piece and then I put in the piece that I cut out from the specialty paper closed it and then I just put it back together again which was super easy and there we have our completed tray well almost we're just going to use that E6000 to put on the little legs of the tray so that it's not resting directly on your vanity or wherever you're going to use it and I did decide to use the larger ones you can also use the smaller ones so that's how I put on the first one and I went ahead and continued on putting on the other three let the E6000 dry at least overnight so you won't have a problem with the legs coming off here's the completed tray and here are some photos of the complete tray with a few bottles of perfume on it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and I'm hoping you have an absolutely amazing day today and I'll see you again soon. Bye!